Ever since DMCA's have been recently going wild on Twitch and the internet, a ton of you have switched to non-copyright music for your streams. First of all, great job. It was a huge pill to swallow, but here we are, so let's adapt. You've probably heard of some great artists offering their music to be used for free, like Harris Heller, Burt Firkins, even I Set My Friends on Fire and The Midnight have also allowed Twitch streamers and other internet artists to use their music for free. So luckily for you, AC Pixel has created an amazingly clean looking Spotify tool for you to use on your stream, as well as some other awesome widgets to use as well. This is a super fast tutorial, so let's go. Hey guys, I'm Duty Beard. Uh, I'm a partnered variety streamer on Twitch. I'm probably live right now, so uh, you should probably come check me out and say hey and make fun of me. Uh, here's a clip of uh, me and some stuff that I do, full of context. Hey, now. Hey, wait, wait, bells. Wait, wait, bells. What? You go this way. Uh -oh. You go this way. The way. Oh, shit. <laughs> so there's only a few ingredients with this one today. Uh, you're gonna need two things. You are going to need a Last FM account and a Spotify account. So what you're going to do to start out is go to the website pixelchat.tv. This is, you'll probably get there and figure it out before we even finish uh, the, uh, the the tutorial. To be 100% honest, but anyway, I am a Twitch streamer, uh, so I will go ahead and log in with Twitch. And I think it brings up one of those authorized button screens, uh, but I'm already I already did that, so it'll just juke me in. As you can see, it's very, very, very easy. So we have a bunch of tabs over here. Uh, overlays is the one that you're looking for. Um, and right now I'm going to go to the top right and click on create new overlay. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of cool things to use. So I, sh I, w I do uh, implore you to check all these out. Uh, he's, th all this stuff is made to run really fast and really clean. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and focus on the now playing widget, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. This one on the left is my main one. <clears throat> my main one so I will delete this new one that I made before I actually show you how it's all in there uh, and the first thing you're gonna want to do is go all the way down to the bottom um, and you're going to want to connect your last FM username so uh, there's a little tutorial on how to do that all you're really gonna do is click on view the setup tutorial follow the instructions under setting up Spotify and uh, setting up the now playing overlay it, it should be very 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 simple it's it's simply just going to your last FM and combining your Spotify and both. as long as they're both on one PC it should be really really easy once you've done that you should notice that it uh, it does connect I'm gonna go ahead and click this stay open all the time so that you can actually see what it looks like and what it does do is it reads your last FM unless your Spotify is actually playing so once I click uh, once I click play on my Spotify, it'll start It'll start to change by itself. It picks up rather quick. So you'll see your style options, your colors, if you want it to be nice and cute and skinny, if you want it to be nice and thick, which I like it. Um, there, there's all these which you should play with and have fun with. Um, and that's, and honestly, that's basically it. I like to, for me, I like to not keep mine open all the time, but have mine stay open for, uh, for 15 seconds. And I'll show you how I implemented mine. But first, let's show you how to implement yours. Go to the top where it says now playing and click on this little arrow right here. And right away, you'll get another screen which has just the widget. Go ahead and take this URL and cut it, copy it, whatever you gotta do, get it on your clipboard. And basically, for the purpose of, s of science and social studies, I am first going to show you how to implement this uh, onto your streams, and then I'll show you how I implemented my, my other one. So you're going to hit plus over here on add a source. You're going to go ahead and uh, hit browser, so you can have a browser source. Type in a new one. Let's do this uh, YouTube tutorial. You can see it popped up. Sorry about all the mirroring and everything. Uh, you're gonna go to the URL right here and paste the browser source that you put in. And right away, as you can see, it's right there for you to drag anywhere. Easy, easy as that. Easiest tutorial ever. 
Now, if you did everything correctly and the browser source the browser source showed up, good for you guys. Uh, now, here's some here's a little bit of extra credit. What happens now? Now that we have the full thing actually activated, so. Uh, luckily, there's a built-in thing, exclamation song, to command the trigger to pop it up. Uh, you could put in, obviously, whatever. Everybody naturally always picks song on my stream. I used to have now playing, but everybody always goes to that first, so I might as well uh, just keep it like that. So, uh, Now, here's how I implemented mine. You'll notice the weird face on the other side of my screen. I like everything on my, sc on my stream to be nice and organic. Everything I like everything to come from something. So, what I did is I took my browser source, I I rotated it 90 degrees and I made it come out of the side of the face. So here, I will show you how that looks. So every time song is uh, is shown, it's a little funny, but that matches kind of my brand, so I like it like that. Um, and then after about 15 seconds, it should zoop back in, and it looks it looks kind of it looks really nice. It looks like it actually retracts. It looks nice and organic. And uh, see, Derek, see that looks good. That looks good. Um, so think of some fun ways to implement yours. Um, that's that's kind of the that's kind of I mean when I when I look at scre at streams, I like to see like what looks clean and what looks nice. And I know there's a lot of crazy stuff on my stream, but I like how I, I like I, I like to think of it as a controlled chaos. Uh, so I hope uh, I hope that was easy for you. I hope that tutorial was easy enough for you to bring something new and fresh to your streams and let everybody know what you're playing. Be sure to uh, say hey to AC Pixel on Twitter uh, and Harris Heller and Bert Firkins and all the other great artists that are doing stuff uh, for you guys to improve your streams and everything. Uh, while you're at it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Uh, and also, please follow me on Twitch, say hey, I might even be live right now, and uh, be safe, have an excellent night.